Hello friends! Today we're going to be reading the story, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. This is another book by Eric Carl. He illustrated this book and he also wrote this book. Now in our last video we learned that Eric Carl does both. With the book Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? and other ones like that. They're by Bill Martin Jr. but Eric Carl was the one who made these pictures. And in class, we found out that Eric Carl uses tissue paper that he paints to create his really cool illustrations. All right, so let's see what happens in The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Hmm. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. So the caterpillar also comes from an egg. That's where insects and bugs come from. So it just hatched and now it is ready to eat. He started looking for some food. Hmm. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. So look right here, you can see him crawling out from the apple. Here he is. On Wednesday, he ate through one, two, three plums but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. What are these? On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. He's eating a lot of food. I wonder why he has to eat all this food. On Saturday, oh no, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Look at him right there. Look how sick he looks. That's a lot of sometimes food that he ate. And although he ate through the watermelon at the end, I don't think that helped with all of this other food. So he had a stomach ache. ache. <laughs> That's not things that caterpillars are supposed to eat. The next day was Sunday again which is when it started. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. After that, he felt much better. That's a good thing for a caterpillar to eat, a leaf. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He ate all this food got really big, didn't he? He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and what happens after a caterpillar goes into a cocoon? He was a beautiful butterfly. When caterpillars go through a transformation, they turn into butterflies. So caterpillars actually make things called a chrysalis. And once they're inside for two weeks or so, they come out and they're butterflies. They transform. When caterpillars make cocoons, they actually end up turning into moths. But that's okay because this is another talking point. 
I really hope you enjoyed this silly story, another one by Eric Carl, and that you have an amazing rest of your day. Goodbye.